kind of our motto is it takes characters to brew beer with character. We wrote this comic book when we opened in 1995. Okay. Well, we've kind of based everything we do off of this completely embellished tale of our existence. There's been parts of it piecemeal on all of our packaging and different point of sale stuff and pieces of merchandise, uh, six pack carriers, beer labels, and a lot of the characters that are part of the story are characters on our labels. So other than just being a fun marketing device, it really does tie the whole story together in, in somebody's head that might have grasped bits and pieces. So this, the story is, it's like a David versus Goliath story. When we started this, we were pretty young punks and we naively walked right into the heart or the hub of Rot Gutson International Beverage Corporation's territory. Uh, they didn't like it and we didn't know what we were doing. So we wrote the comic book to tell that story, but we never, uh, we never completed it in its illustrated form. So that's what we have here is the final print version of at least volume one. And then we incorporated a bunch of Durango. Like you could tell this is the El Rancho. Yeah. And, uh, and there's like a Durango sign when they're first getting into Durango. You can see the welcome to historic Durango, the actual map of Durango. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> we printed 5,000. We're putting it in specially marked 12 packs of mixed up cans. And then also if there's certain merchandise on the website that you can order and we'll throw a comic book in with your order. And so we'll probably, we may print another run of them. It's, we'll see how this one goes. And, uh, and we're already kind of working on volume two. Yeah, it's kind of like, it is kind of a dream come true. Just because we've been telling the story for so many years and every time you tell it, someone asks where the actual comic book is. So it was, it was finally time 